blending tree. Being on different planets, um, whether it be Mars, Venus, even Pluto, you're saying that you, you found anomalies with your anomaly hunters, right? Yes, we found anomalies. I'm part of the United Academy of Anomaly Hunters. We've literally downloaded over 1 million images now, the whole group of us, and we found picked out about 50,000 total anomalies. The majority of them are on Mars because we have the most data from Mars. Uh, these anomalies, what, are, what is an anomaly? An anomaly is an out-of-place object, something that shows geometry, something that almost appears to be like a biological organism or something that's out of place. And how we do this, we pull down raw data directly from the European Space Agency server, NASA servers, and the Indian Space Agency servers, and we actually pull them down into our computers, we magnify them, we literally get out magnifying glasses and go inch by inch, sometimes millimeter by millimeter, looking at these images. When we spot something, okay, we see this, this rock outcropping here, this particular object doesn't match this outcropping. We pull them in and we really analyze them in detail. We open them up in Photoshop, we take a better look, and we take away some of the haze, some of the false fudging that's been put over them. And once we do that, we see what's there. If we, just, if we, we vote on it and say, okay, this is definitely something that's there, then we put it out on our site and we say, look, here's another anomaly that we discovered, something that's out of place. We can't specifically tell you this is what it is, but we can tell you that, look, this is an out of place object and it doesn't belong in here. It's not something that we believe is naturally formed by nature. Mm -hmm. And so what are the, some of the, the things look, that appear to be as far as... A lot of structures. We've seen structures on Mercury. People say, oh, Mercury, you can't have any... Mercury is... Now the Mercury Messenger mission has revealed that Mercury has 47% oxygen, argon gases, hydrogen, and everything else. You can literally pop your... your and oxygen, argon gases, hydrogen, everything else. You can literally pop your, your helmet off and when you land on Mercury and take a deep breath. The temperature isn't molten lead like everybody thought. Only at the equator is extremely hot, but towards the poles, you actually get a, a normalized temperature because Mercury takes 61 days to spin on its own axis. So most of the planets never in the direct sunlight. We found structures there, structure after structure after structure. And these structures, one of the biggest ones that I discovered made international news it's just one building that appears to be almost a mile long, and you can use a measuring tool to tell how big this, this structure is. And it's backed up to a canal or a lake. And, and again, it's already been revealed publicly that there are billions of tons of water and, and, um, are, and gases on Mercury, so it's not even a secret anymore. Venus as well, we've discovered uh, what appear to be structures, massive structures, which appear to be intact, which is very bizarre, because if it's an ancient society, why are these things, you know, and on Earth, if something is here, and you go back and look at it in a thousand years, it looks pretty, you know, destroyed or falling apart or demolished, but a lot of these structures appear to be completely intact. Mars, you can find destroyed structures everywhere. You can find remnants of ancient civilizations and cities. Um, you know, a lot of what appear to be different types of machines directly on the surface, just laying there. But the majority of Mars has been washed over. You can tell, you can see where it had a global flood and a lot of the stuff has been destroyed. Mm -hmm. uh, and a lot of the moons that orbit Saturn and Jupiter uh, as well, I have evidence of, uh, of pyramids. All of these, by the way, have pyramids. Pyramids on our moon, pyramids on Mercury, pyramids on Venus, all the way across the whole solar system. We actually have now uh, questions coming in from the uh, some of our viewers. So um, Sarah from Texas asked a really interesting question about the dark side of the moon. 
that basically she's seen hundreds of small pyramids according to some of the We only get to see one side. Mm -hmm. But but on that side of the moon, the Clementine mission took a lot of interesting photos. Oh.